The third question is calculate S prime is equal to the summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 of 1 plus w to the power of k to the power of n. I'm going to use the summation that I open that I, that I got in the uh, second question by expanding this expression thanks to binomial theorem. So I can write, I can exchange the place here, uh, it will be easier to expand w to the power of k plus 1 to the power of n and k is going from 0 to n minus 1 and I expand. So I get Thanks to the binomial theorem n choose k, j, j is going from 0 to n, of w to the power of k to the power of j, multiplied by 1 to the power of n minus j. This is equal to 1. And I can exchange the two summations. I get the summation of j is equal to 0 to n of the summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 of n choose j w to the power of k j. This is a constant compared to k. So I can get it out of the summation, of the second summation. And I've got inside the second summation, which is the summation of k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 omega, uh, w to the power of kj. And this summation is exactly uh, the summation of the second question replacing p by j. The this summation is equal to S sub J N. But uh, we have got that this summation is equal to N or 0 when P is equal is congruent to 0 or not, modulo N. So S, G, S sub G N is equal to N in the first case if j is congruent to 0 modulo n, but j is going from 0 to n. So there are only two cases uh, corresponding. That is to say, j is equal to 0 or j is equal to n, because j is going from 0 to n. And otherwise, the summation is equal to zero. So in this summation, we only got, we only get when j is equal to zero, we get n to zero multiplied by n, and when j is equal to n, we get n choose n multiplied by n. So um, this is equal to 1, this is equal to 1, 
though the sum is equal to 2n.